I've always been interested in robotics and coding and engineering, and I've been in so many different places where I have been the only girl in the room. I think over like time, women have kind of been taught like you're not allowed to ask questions because you don't want to seem like you're less smart than the guys in the room. It's the feeling of not being listened to, not being heard, not being acknowledged. I think a big part of that disparity that you see uh, inside STEM and inside a lot of our institutions, to be honest, is, is that a lot of times people don't feel like they belong in that space. When you look at that space and you don't see yourself there or anyone who looks like you, it's really hard, in my opinion, to want to be there. WOW it basically aims to empower and inspire high school girls to take risks and pursue STEM both in high school, robotics, and beyond. A lot of the problems that our world faces, some part of the solution is inside of STEM. And consequently, it's really important that we get our students uh, into STEM and also that there's a space for them. The more diversity you have, more likely you're going to come up with a better, a more engaging solution to your problem. We expect to have girls on our team and we expect them to be doing everything that everyone else does on the team. WOW originally stood for Women of Warlords and then we eventually ended up spreading nationwide and therefore WOW can no longer stand for Women of Warlords and now just sort of is just WOW. It's really brought attention to the issues that women face in the STEM field. I remember doing Java trainings. I was always really scared to ask questions because we did it in a big group setting, and I never wanted to seem like I was like less smart than the dude who was sitting over like four seats down. But I think Wow has definitely made me more comfortable and like saying, look, if he's allowed to ask questions, so am I. We could go anywhere. We'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. We could be any place. We'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. We've been giving a lot of conferences. We've spoken for Qualcomm at a few of their events before. We currently have five chapters, one of which is in Israel. WOW has kind of opened up that opportunity for girls to ask questions and be more comfortable on the team that they're in. Girls are in the shop, it's totally normal, it's not even remotely thought about. Gender doesn't really come into the question when you're considering who goes to what roles. And I think that that's a really important part of a team culture. <laughs>